We're getting more insight into a driver. Police say he caused the death of four people on Highway 58 in Mex County. Good evening. I'm Josh Rowe. Stephanie Sanastasi joins us now live and tells us why neighbors say they weren't surprised to hear who police are calling a person of interest. Stephanie. Josh and Latricia, John Wesley Bennett lives right here in Mex County. According to investigators on Friday, they say that Bennett's trailer came unhinged from a dump truck, smashing into a car and an SUV. Today, we found out that this isn't the first time that Bennett's been in trouble with the law. John, if you see this, you know, come on in, buddy, because you know, you can't run forever. Mary Brown has been John Bennett's neighbor for more than 20 years. He's a hometown boy. Everybody knows him. He's a little different. A report released by the Tennessee Highway Patrol says Bennett was driving this dump truck southbound when the trailer connected to his truck detached and swerved into oncoming traffic and slammed into both vehicles. But Bennett kept driving, the report says, about a quarter of a mile before ditching the dump truck and running into the woods. Woods. The report also says Bennett was under the influence at the time of the crash. Ironically, Brown was one of the first on the scene on her way home from work. She says she got there before police or ambulances arrived. It was it was horrible. It's not something I ever want to see again. Brown says she never saw Bennett at the scene that day, but wasn't shocked when she first heard he was the one police are actively searching for. I know there's probably not a lot of people surprised. With John and his his problems, he's got problems. According to the Megs and Hamilton County criminal dockets, those problems include driving charges, assault, and vandalism. He's not one you want to mess with much. Today we found where Bennett lived. He wasn't there, but we found his dad Gary, who lives right up the road. He told us he hasn't seen his son since Friday morning, but neighbors believe Bennett's not gone for good. The dogs has been barking quite a bit, so I I'm not sure, but. I'm um, he will be back. He will be back. TH. THP wouldn't tell us if they have any leads on where Bennett might be. All they could tell us is that they are still searching. For now, reporting live in Meigs County, Stephanie Sanastasi, News Channel 9. Stephanie, thank you.